Hi everybody, uh, my name is James O'Sullivan, I'm from uh, Tremor County Waterford, uh, living in Auckland here for the last seven months. Uh, the reason why I moved up to Auckland is because uh, I, I believe that Ireland has a great future ahead of it. Uh, I think we're great, very much in transition right now as a country and not out of the, uh, the controlling mechanisms uh, that have bound us for many, many generations, we're starting to crumble now and that people are a little bit confused and lost about where they should be in life uh, and what direction they should take um, and I'm very very optimistic about the future uh, of the people in Ireland. I don't think all is lost, I think that you know, all of the problems we have for last year there's numbers on the computer screen and that you know, the, uh, the minds of the people and the hearts of the people working together will be able to find a way to overcome all of those issues. And really the financial ones are the biggest source of all the problems that we have. I think there is a spiritual crisis as well. The spiritual crisis in Ireland has been here for a while now, and that people are looking for something a little bit more grounded and believable um, at the stage in their lives now where they want people to be able to, around them to be able to be happy and at peace with themselves and have balance in their lives. Um, I think that's where the big part of the spiritual crisis is coming from, that an awful lot of what people have been told in the past is not very balanced and it's not balanced in your mind because your mind is looking for logic behind a belief system that you might be told in early childhood and you spend the rest of your life with this program running in your head that you believe is not to be true and you're fighting that program all the time. Uh, I reckon that the solutions are very, very simple. Just look around you, look at uh, the relationships you have with people, look for honesty in people. Uh, nature is a big part of too, getting out in nature, spending time in nature, walks, different things. Uh, I don't believe we're separate from anything. I think that it's, it's you find that recent scientific studies have shown, especially uh, the likes of. Uh, um, uh, I lost that. Um, quantum mechanics. The likes of quantum mechanics will prove that there is no separation from IT, that we're all part of the greater consciousness, the cosmos. Um, it, the greatest challenge for me has been to discover that if you resist anything, then the resistance then becomes something that you're fighting. And that the best way to live life is to, to look for solutions to your problems rather than trying to resist the problem. And that's kind of how I've been living my life over the last number of years, uh, working towards that goal of just being a part of the flow uh, of, uh, of, of life in general, you know. Uh, I'm part of many groups, I'm not stand alone in what I do. There's many groups in Ireland that are now starting to come together and, and to work together towards a better future for Ireland. Um, those groups are now organising uh, further meetups from the people within those groups uh, to see if they can all come together for a greater solution for Ireland. At the moment, not all the groups are working away by themselves and they do need to come together to be able to find a way of consolidating ideas um, and to be able to present these ideas to, to the public in a way that will be acceptable to people because you can't come up with solutions that are too radical because people would never jump across from the old system into the new system. You have to design a, a system that makes the old system obsolete and that's the trick to doing that, you know. What about a new way of organising ourselves politically? Have you any ideas on that? Yeah, that's, it's going to be, it's going to take a while for that to happen. Uh, I was working within DDI for, for six months. I worked as a facilitator uh, at the meetings within DDI. Sorry, what's DDI? Uh, DDI is Direct Democracy Ireland. And it's a new political party that's been set up with the idea being to uh, put back in articles of the constitution that have been taken out. Um, Articles that allow uh, recall of politicians that are not doing their job correctly for the constituents, and also the idea of that the uh, individuals can gain enough signatures, maybe 80,000, to be able to call a referendum on particular issues that are of importance to uh, the communities in, in the country. But there's a lot more to it than that, but that's the bones of it. Uh, it. I think it has to come from the communities first. I think that groups need to be set up in every community in the country that's not part of any political party. It's just collaboration of, of great minds in, in the communities. And that through facilitated process, you can actually get people into a room with a blank whiteboard, ask people what they want, and let them find the solutions themselves. And from this then you can, you can have the individuals in that, in that uh, space to organize themselves into groups of like-minded individuals 
and from those like-minded individuals, the conversations what will develop will be the solutions. The solutions are already there. It's only a matter of harnessing the solutions. So are you hopeful for the future of Ireland? Hugely hopeful for the future of Ireland. Hugely hopeful, absolutely. It's only a matter of um, helping ourselves to learn how to communicate in a different way. You know? Thanks, James.